Welcome to Generation Xbox. Today we are going to be unboxing the Xbox Series S and we are going to be showing you the initial setup and installation of the system. We ordered this system on November the 4th and it arrived promptly on launch day which is today November the 10th around 2 p.m. ordered it straight from Microsoft. My son is the one who ordered the Xbox Series S because he liked it being all digital and he's not going to be upgrading his TV anytime soon. So he settled for the Series S. So whenever you're unboxing the Xbox Series S, it definitely feels a little more premium and new than before. On the back of the box, as you can see, it says, power your dreams. And as we open up the lid here, uh, well, we missed a little spot here. There's one more piece of tape. Okay, as soon as you open up the box here, it says, power your dreams. And it, it just feels like it's a little bit elegant in a way, like it's a premium touch. So you've got to take the Xbox out of the packaging. And one of the things we see right off the bat is that, man, this thing is little. The best thing we could compare it to is a shoebox if you wear a size 12. So that's exactly what we think it looks like. You can see there's nothing else in the box there but you can see there is a brand new controller that has been slightly redesigned. There are the other hookups, which are the power cord and the HDMI cable. So there are those two goodies right there. And we're going to take out the controller out of the kind of foam packaging. But first, let's unbox the xbox let's unpackage this thing so you just slide over the power your dreams from the um the console and then you just open the little foam and you just pull that right off of there and then you're going to see this cool looking like black vents with holes on the top now a lot of people are going to say that right there is a headphone jack or the front usb is that is not a headphone jack. That is a receiver. On the back, we have the wired Ethernet, two USB 3 ports, one HDMI out, and also the proprietary SSD hard drive upgrade and power cord. All in one neat little package here. And then we are opening the new and improved controller. And here's what it looks like. It looks a lot like the old one, except there are some slight improvements. They have a texturized undergrip on the controller. And believe it or not, there's the share button and the direction pad actually registers a lot better on this new controller. Now, a good thing to have is a external 3.0 game drive this one is a two terabyte and you can play all of your old games all the way up to the xbox one series and play them directly off that external drive you won't get the load times and the benefit of the solid state drive that's in the xbox series s but it will save you tons of room so i'm going to go over real quick this is when you first turn on your xbox and this is just going to be a minimal setup that I'm going to show you. You can actually set it up with an app. Some people prefer to do that. I'm just setting it up with a controller. And this whole process, as you can see, this, these are the screens you put in your wireless and your password. And it's going to ask all these settings. And of course, the very first thing it's going to do out of the box, it's going to be doing a system software update. Wouldn't you know it? And it does take a little while, but not too long. Not enough to get on your nerves. In fact, this whole process took me about 
15 minutes. And I would say it would probably take you guys that too. And it's it's not really that bad. After it finishes the system update, it is time to update again. But this time, the controller. Yes, the controller needs a firmware update. And you need to lay it on a, um, flat on a surface and do not touch it while you are updating your controller. That way it registers everything like the feedback on the controller like it's supposed to. It calibrates it correctly. Then after that, it's going to say updated and you're going to need to link a Microsoft account, preferably one that has digital games because this is a digital system on it and uh, the one you're going to be using and it's going to ask you would you like uh, to report data if you know software uh, crashes do you want to how you would like to sign in uh, you know things of that nature and do you want to share data with the publishers uh, yes or no and uh, they prefer the system settings would you like to assign a controller or use automatic sign-in? And then that is it, guys. You are ready. And you will recognize the UI, the user interface, because it's exactly the same but much snappier. But here is exactly how much 362.1 gigabytes is on that solid-state drive. So I just plugged in the external, and I'm going to load my games and we are ready to play. And this has been the unboxing of the Xbox Series S.